All right, we're gonna make a ruler here in Corel Draw. So first thing you want to do is start out with the two-point line tool. And our workspace is already six inches by three inches, so we have our basis for our ruler. And now what we need to do is draw some vertical lines. So to do that, you hold down the shift key. And you can see how it snaps to like every 10 degrees. You just want to make sure that you have the vertical line drawn. And then you're going to click and place it. And then we want to size this so that all of our little tick marks on our ruler are sized according to their measurement. So we're going to change these one inch marks to a half inch long. And then we're going to duplicate them until we have seven lines for our ruler. And remember to hit Control D to duplicate. Then we're going to go through the process of aligning these so that they will sit on the edge of our ruler. So the first thing you want to do is select all of them. Then you're going to go up to the object drop down and scroll down to align and distribute. And then open up the align and distribute docker at the very bottom there. It gives you a bunch of options for organizing your lines. So we zoom in here a little bit. Uh, we want to make sure that we are setting this to the page itself and not to the object. So this will align things based on relation to an object. This will align them based on the page edge. Okay, and we want to align all of these to the top of the page. Okay, so they're all going to be sitting right there on the edge of the ruler. Okay, and then we have to space them out equally. So instead of measuring each one, we can use the distribute tool. Each of these are going to have a horizontal distance of one inch apart from each other. Okay, and then you want to distribute that space horizontally. So now all your lines are lined up and one inch apart. So then all we have to do is put them in the corner of our ruler and you could try to manually move them there, but the idea is here that we want to make the most accurate ruler we can. So we're actually going to go up here and type in the value of where we want that line to start. So we want to click in the top corner of our object origin, because that matches up with that top corner right there. Okay, and then we're going to tell that the dimensions. So we want it at zero in the X and then the top of the ruler is three inches tall in the Y. Okay, and when you enter that in, it shifts this over so that your lines are equally spaced right in the edge. Now if you do this in the middle and you do the zero three, it will base this off of that middle dot and it'll put it at that coordinate. Okay, so we wanna make sure that we have that in that top corner. It defaults to the middle, so you have to change it by clicking on that tiny little square up in the toolbar. So then when you're all done, you want to group those together so they don't move around accidentally by clicking on them or something. They will all move together. If you click on one, it'll select all of them. So those are all of our inch marks together. Okay, now our next step is to find this halfway point, right? So we want to put in the half inches. Uh, and if you count those out, there are six of those. Okay, so same idea. We're going to take our line tool, draw a line straight up and down by holding the shift key. And then we're going to set this one a little shorter because this is the half inch mark. So we'll do like 0.3 inches. Okay, and then we want to get enough to fit in there in between our inch markers. So we're going to duplicate some of those out again. Again, select them all. Distribute after you line them up with the top. Okay, and these are also going to be spaced an inch apart because the half inch to the next half inch is, an, is one inch. 
But then when we place this, we want to place this at 0.5 instead of 0. Okay, and then we also want it at that 3 level. So then they shift over, and they're right where they're supposed to be. Okay, and you can actually zoom in and check these if you wanted to with the dimension tool. Uh, but the next step is to add the next set of lines, so the quarter inch lines. So here's how you can double check and make sure these are spaced correctly. If you click on the dimension tool, it tells you that they're 0 0.5 and 3. Okay, so I had to shift them over a little bit. And then you can click on this dimension tool and measure from one point to the next, and that should be a half inch. And it is. Okay, so the next task for you to do on your own is repeat this process with the quarter inch mark lines. And you have to put one in between each one of these spaces. So there's going to be twice as many now. There's going to be 12. Okay, so always make sure you group up each set of lines and then add those.